come to the assembly. We want to ask those who are outside. There are plenty, plenty of seats inside the church. So there's no reason to sit outside. Uh, the resident assistants who are helping us, the deans who are helping us, plenty of seats inside the church. So guide the students and other faculty and staff members to come right inside the church. We are starting our program with the national anthem and uh, the team is right here ready. Can, shall we all stand for the national anthem? to pray. Loving Father, we thank you for this university. We are assembled here, all the students, faculty and staff and administrators, to thank you for the blessings of life that you have given us. We now commit this assembly into your hand, Father, that you be present. Be with the Vice Chancellor, Professor Philip Mayo, as he leads us in this program to their glory and honor. We know this university is called out of your name. You will maintain it, support it, and make it achieve its objectives and goals to the glory and honor. And may your spirit lead in all activities we do, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to ask again, faculty and staff, please we have seats up here. For, so that we all say, don't use here. We had announced it kindly. If you're a faculty and a staff, don't sit down there. Please, we want you to use up here. Tafadali. Naomba. Kindly do that. Administrators, we want you here in the pulpit. If you're an administrator, we want you here. We have your seat here with us. If you are a faculty and a staff, please use any seat up here. Those that students, then you can occupy all those seats in front. And don't let you have any seat in between you. Sit so that the seat empty be at the edge. Like if it is that one, let the last seat be the one that is empty. Kindly do that one. Don't let the seat in between. Nobody will climb there. To sit, so you make sure that it is the end that remains empty. Kindly do that. Thank you for those who are listening and, and, and following so that we can get our people seated. Thank you very much. Just take the last one. Okay, let me now invite Dr. Paul Wahonya to make announcements and uh, introduce the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Paul Wahonya. We want to thank Dr. Mumbo, our university chaplain, for welcoming us to the church. And uh, thank you so much. I can see you moving. Uh, let's make sure that we are tight so and uh, there's no chair uh, hanging in between to make it difficult for someone to come in. Again, those who are still outside, plenty of seats uh, inside the church. Uh, the section that is towards the main road has a lot of seats. Upstairs, we still have a lot of seats. 
kindly come right inside. Allow me at this time to make a few announcements and um, Uh, take your seats very quickly, please, so that we can uh, move on. Uh, I want you to note that we started registering students this semester on the 23rd of August, 2023. Wednesday, August 23, we started admitting new students and uh, registering them for the semester. By, before the end of that week, the system was already open, even for returning students to uh, complete their registration. We have uh, allowed the system to be open all along so that you can complete your registration and I want to announce that as we sit here today, there are over 4,000 students who are already financially cleared and should be going into their classes. Now, for anyone who has not completed registration, it is today and tomorrow. Tuesday today, tomorrow Wednesday. If you do not register within this time and complete your registration process, we will ask you now to come back in January. You know what that means? That now you cannot complete your degree in the four years if you do not register on time. We are constrained by a number of factors. We have a report that we must submit to the university funding board by next week. And especially for those of you who are government-sponsored students. So we have to process that report from Thursday, Friday, and Monday in order to submit it within the required time. So if you can't register for this semester and you are going to defer your studies, kindly check the email in the course of the day. I will be sending out a letter of deferment. If you are going to defer your studies, there will be a letter from our office that will tell you this is what you need to write as you defer your studies. This is very, very critical, especially if the government is putting some money in your education. Because if you don't officially defer, then don't blame us for not getting that money later on. We must have your record sent to us by an email that you are deferring your studies during this particular semester. So let me repeat again that registration will officially be closed for the first semester this year, uh, this, this particular academic year. Tomorrow by midnight, 12 midnight, it will close and uh, you will have to wait for January. I hope that is very clear. Inform your friends who may not be around here, uh, who may be out, maybe on doing other things and are not here. Let that information go out very, very clearly. Those who have not submitted your graduation applications, uh, as we close re registration officially tomorrow, that will also be the close of graduation applications without any penalty. So if you are applying without any penalty, tomorrow, close of registration, close of graduation applications. Anything that will now be coming after that, be prepared to pay 1,000 Kenya shillings 
late graduation application fee. We want to make your life at UEB better. We want to provide better services in our offices, in the dorms, in the cafeteria, in the classrooms. So we have developed an instrument, you know, customer satisfaction survey. We want you to give us feedback. The Office of the Quality Assurance, headed by Professor Chibirango, please uh, just stand so that they can see you. Uh, Professor Chibirango is our Quality Assurance Director. Madam Marundu, Dr. Marundu, are you somewhere? Dr. Marundu, uh, they work together and they have developed an instrument, a survey on customer satisfaction survey. We want your input. We, uh, it's going to be on the email, uab at uab.ac.ke. Please tell us, speak to us through that instrument on how you feel in the classroom, in the dorms, in the church, all these places, so that we can improve our services to you. I want to thank you for attending your classes. And I know the Vice Chancellor is going to um, uh, uh, talk more about this, the significance of attending those classes. So allow me at this time to bring to you the leader of this university, Professor Philip Mayo, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. Professor Mayo has been in this university since 2014. And through his leadership, we have seen God blessing this institution. And so at this particular point, we have a rare opportunity as a university community, faculty, staff, students, to be addressed by our leader the Vice Chancellor. So, Professor Mayo, I want to welcome you to the pulpit. Yes. Yes. Um, so, I want to welcome the VC to come, but before he comes, I want to remind those of you men who are putting on hats, uh, caps, please, if you have a, this is a church in which we are, kindly do not put that kofia, uh, the hat, the, uh, the, the, the cup on your head when we are in the church. So how many of you faculty, staff, and students want to welcome, join me? Thank you so much, Professor Mayo, welcome. Good morning. It's a blessing that the Lord has taken care of us. We are beginning a new academic year, and we want to thank God in a special way for enabling us to go through the 2022-2023, and right now we are starting 2023-2024. It's a blessing. Thank you very much. First and foremost, I would like to welcome the new students. If you are a new student, can you stand up, please, if you are a new student? Can you stand up? If you are a new student, you have joined Baraton for the first time. For the first time, I'm only concerned with those who have joined the University of Eastern Africa Baraton for the first time. So thank you very much. I know we have others also there. I want to say you are most welcome. May God bless you. You have chosen the best university. May God bless you. Thank you very much. First, before I go ahead with my speech, I would like to introduce the people who are managing this university. 
First and foremost, we have our deans and heads of departments, and we have also the heads of academic units. Then we have the faculty and the staff. So I would like to introduce the administrators first, those who are in the administration of the university. The administrators, can you stand up, please? The administrators, can you stand up, please? Yes, we have, uh, let me start with the DVCs, DVC Academic Affairs, Dr. Paul Wahonya. Oh, he has just worked out, okay. He cannot work out when we are here. So anyway, fine. Then we have the DVC Finance, Dr. Jackson Oyaro. We have the DVC Students Services, Dr. Shadrach Kamundi, I saw him some few minutes. He has also disappeared. Hey. Now when the DVCs are disappearing, then it is another meeting. Now, uh, DVC uh, Academic Affairs is here, Dr. Paul Wahonya. So I think he is the one who has just brought me to discuss and to talk with you. Then we have the Director of Quality Assurance, Professor Chibirango. We have uh, Director of Development and Alumni, uh, Paul Kirwa. We have the Registrar, uh, Dr. Dr. Elizabeth Meta. We have the Chief Finance Officer, Priska Misoy. We have uh, uh, Dr. Duncan Mumbo, who is the University Chaplain. We also have Ryle Ogechi. She is the uh, general manager for industries. We also have the human resource uh, manager, and that is uh, Judith Gibrango. We also have uh, Professor Ramesh Francis, who is the dean's representative. We also have the DVC as a, uh, students as appeared. So he is here with us. So you cannot leave when I am doing the introduction. So please, <laughs> thank you. Then the administrators can get seated. Now, the second line of administration are the deans of schools. And I would like to introduce the dean of school of business, Professor Jidose Ibeneme. Can you come forward immediately? You, oh, you are supposed to come forward immediately. Hey. The deans, you need to come forward immediately. Next on the line is the Dean of Education, Humanities, and Social Science, Dr. Rabajo Dek. You need to come forward. We also have the Dean uh, of Nursing and Health Science, Professor Jagiope. You need to come quickly. We need also to have the Dean of School of Science and Technology, Professor Paul Francis. Within a very short time, can you introduce your heads of department, please? Quickly. From the School of Business, we have our Mrs. Rose Nyabwamo. She heads the. She's there. She's there. Please, can you stand? Away? Then we have uh, Dr. David Onga, Accounting and Finance, the chair. David Onga? David Onga, where are you? Oh, on this side. All right. Okay. And then we have uh, Mr. Tenai, Tenai, Emon Tenai the chair for management and marketing. Those are the people in the School of Business. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Dean of School of Education. Uh, in the School of Education, and Humanities and Social Sciences, we have the Department of Education headed by Dr. Benson Kinudia. Just, just a minute. Eh? Yes. Can uh, faculty of School of Business stand up for recognition? Faculty members in the School of Business. Can you stand up? If you come from School of Business, can you stand up? Okay. We have faculty members. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, students, you need to recognize these people. <laughs> they are the people <laughs> you are to work with. These are the people who are in your classrooms. So recognize them. Thank you very much, faculty. Okay. Now, you go ahead. So the Department of Education, we have Thank Dr. You. Benson Kinudia. 
Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, we have Dr. Martha Mambo. Martha Mambo, where are you? And then we have the Department of Theology, uh, Dr. Kasai. May, <laughs> may all the faculty in the school stand up for recognition, please, in the School of Education, Humanities and Social Sciences. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning. The School of Nursing and Health Sciences has three departments. The first, the Department of Nursing, is headed by Mrs. Nova Nyakundi. Please stand. She was there. The second, the Department of Public Health, is headed by Professor Helen Diku. But right now, the acting head is Mrs. Asnet Barongo. Please stand. Thank you. The Department of Medical Laboratory Science is headed by Ms. Esther Njagi. Please stand. All the faculty and staff for the School of Nursing and Health Sciences, please stand. Can they stand? Thank you very much. Good morning to everyone. The School of Science and Technology, we have four departments. Uh, Department of uh, Applied Science headed by Mr. Felix Bohr. He's not around, but he's uh, acting as uh, Mr. Esther Ataki, Ataka. Second Department of Biological Science Agriculture is headed by Dr. Gracelyn Poshia Francis. She's there. Department of Mathematics, Chemistry and Physics headed by Dr. Jasper Okirio. Kindly wave to the congregation. Yes. Department of Technology is headed by Mr. Ayamba James. So all the faculty members from the School of Science and Technology kindly rise and uh, see your people. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'd like also to introduce the non-academic departments. We have the head of physical plant that is physical plant manager. Can you stand up, please? Head of physical plant. I don't know whether the person is here. Head of physical plant. Then we have procurement manager, also here. Procurement manager, can you stand up, please? I don't know where these people are. They could be hiding somewhere. Hmm? Cafeteria manager, I think, I don't know whether she's back. Cafeteria manager, do we have the cafeteria manager inside? Okay. Uh, ICT, acting ICT manager. Safari. Where is the ICT acting manager? You, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I think you know this guy. You need to know, can you come forward? Uh, Safari. Safari. You need to know. And if we have procurement manager, cafeteria manager, and PPD manager, they can come forward for them to know who is managing the areas. PPD manager, if you are there, come forward. Procurement manager, cafeteria manager, if you are there, you come forward so that you can be recognized. We have uh, our ITS manager here in charge of IT services. Safari Kikandi, eh? Kikandi. So he is the one who is in charge of ICT. And whenever you have ICT issues, see him. He is the one who is in charge. Yeah, the guy is uh, very good in IT. So you are there to get a lot of... Uh, he's very good in IT. I want to thank him. He is a very, very objective. And he is doing a great work. I want to appreciate his work here. Thank you very much, uh, Safari. And the previous one also was called Safari. So I am I'm wondering, ITS full of safaris. <laughs> I don't know where they are going. Then we have PPD manager, Mr. Tito Titus uh, Misoy. He is in charge of, uh, he is an architect by profession. And then we have procurement manager, Mr. Limo. So these are the people who are in the non-teaching department, but they are doing a great work. Thank you very much. 
Also, we have a librarian. She, has she come back? Huh? Or oh, she's on leave. And who is acting? Acting librarian. Who is acting librarian? Huh? Mrs. Muamalika. Yes. I don't know whether she's around. Oh, she is there. Okay. Thank you very much, madam. And uh, that's good. We also have a head of security, Mr. Korir, the non teaching department, also head of security. I don't know whether he's here. Can you come forward and tell us whether you are handling the thieves? <laughs> huh? Hmm? So, head of security, Mr. Korir, is there. And then we have. Uh, Recently, we have a Tibet, Tibet team. You know, we have a diploma and certificate in, uh, in different courses. And we have been given accreditation by technical and vocational education. And we have uh, the person who is in charge, Alphonse Misoy, engineer. I don't know whether he's here. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you stand up with your team, the Tibet? Okay? So, anyway, you can come and wave. You are not going to speak. <laughs> so, he is in the technology department. But hey, you want to introduce the... We have not declared as a full-fledged department. <laughs> but anyway. thank, you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Wanafisi. Sorry for having uh, hijacked your, your time. I want to introduce my team, please. Come faster, come faster. We already have a Tibet Institute within the university. And these are the administrators. <laughs> so what you are missing, what you are missing are students yet to come, come January, I'll also be seated in front here. Hey, so I didn't allow you to declare something. So, a quick one, she's, quick, 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 John, yeah, uh, she's Ellen, in charge of academic affairs of the Tibet Institute. She is the, he is the registrar of the Institute. He is the Dean of Trainees, Dean of Trainees, Mr. Colum. She is in charge of quality assurance and standards of the Institute. Thank you so much. You have taken my air time. I am the director of the Tibet Institute. Okay. Anyway. Hey, okay. Anyway, he is excited because he got accreditation recently. <laughs> and we want to thank him and his team for the good work. Because getting accreditation is important. And now, you know, getting accreditation is important, but at the same time, that is not the end. It is the beginning. What are you going to do with that accreditation? It is something that we need to see a proposal on our table. So please, you have just started, but we need to see the work. So thank you very much. I want to introduce other people also. The DVC SAS. 
as well as the assistant deans. Can you stand up, please? Those who are working in the, reg I mean, in the, in the student services. Dr. Kamundi, uh, can you come and introduce them briefly? All of you are taking my time. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Bonavisi. We have uh, the Dean, Dean of Men on campus, uh, Bona Samuel Karioki. Can you wave? We have uh, Mrs. Ouma. Mrs. Ouma, kindly, can you come, come inside a bit and wave? That is the Dean of Ladies on Campus. She works assistedly by Mrs. Adegu. Mrs. Adegu, where are you, where are you? Oh, yes, 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 thank you so much. Then we have Pastor Kemboi, Mzee Wakazi, Dean of Men of Campus. He's there, waving at us. Uh, dedicatedly. Then we have. Um, I think they can come forward so that they can. Kujeni Muonwe. Come. <laughs> Thank you. Come, 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 <coughs> come, come. Uh, Thank you. Uh, this is uh, Grace, Pastor Grace Sawe, the Dean of Ladies of Campus. Uh, we have the University Councillor. Uh, Madam Lois Ngetich, uh, can you can you wave? Can you wave? Our councillor kindly always make an appointment of visiting our office. It's very important. Dennis uh, Kipkirui is the student services coordinator. Can you wave? Then the rest uh, have already waved and I've introduced them. We have the sports. I don't know where he is. Uh, the sports Jacob Elim and the coordinator for work program. He's supposed to be with us here. Thank you so much. Bernard. Okay. Please recognize these people. They are the people you are going to work with always. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. I will introduce you. Okay. Registry team. Registry. Can you introduce your team quickly? Good morning, everyone. In the registry, we have Gibson Jacob. Is the deputy registrar. Then we have Festus Kosgei, an assistant in the registry. We have Felix. I so saw Felix. is uh, an assistant in charge of data. Um, Festus is in charge of records. Then we have uh, student assistants who are assisting us for now. Um, they are busy in the office. We have secretaries. I'm sure they've not come because we are preparing some report which is needed urgently. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, now, E.G. White. <laughs> he thought we are going to forget him. but he is the director of E.G. White Estate and Research. And he is Dr. Mutua, James Mutua. He is a very, very, very good scholar. And he is heading the E.G. White uh, Research Center. So we appreciate your ministry, Dr. Mutua. Online learning. Director Dr. 
Meshach Misoy. Thank you very much. Online learning is the way to go. So we need to work hard. Accounts office, those who will be handling our students. Maybe the chief finance officer can introduce briefly and quickly. Introduce your team. It's a department to stand. Accounts <coughs> people. Maybe you need to come forward quickly. Please accounts come. People. Those who are in accounts, please. So that the stu our st students can recognize you. you. In student finance, we have um, Madam Margaret Oirere and uh, Mr. Sam Kilonso. They are working on our reports. They are in the office. I think you know them by now. <laughs> Oh, sorry, they are here. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, our secretary, Madam Beatrice uh, Nyakundi. Ny Nyakundi is here. Uh, can you wave? Thank sorry. you. Sam Kilonso, student finance. Uh, Boit Andrew, the chief accountant. Madam Ellen Mudanji, the payroll accountant. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, office secretaries if you are an office secretary can you stand up please and if you are few you can come for recognition briefly office secretary can you come in front office secretaries our office secretaries we don't have an office secretary that is interesting oh okay you can come forward Come quickly. Office secretaries, come forward. Okay. These are office secretaries. We have uh, Madam Cheruyot, DVC Finance Office, isn't it? Okay. Lydia. Vice Chancellor's Office. Uh, Beatrice, <laughs> Chief, Account, uh, Chief Finance Office. Uh, Madam Diana Rob, DVC Academics Office. Mrs. Lele, Quality Assurance. And Mrs. Kasai, Chaplaincy. Thank you very much. Okay. So if you are a non-teaching staff, can you stand up for recognition? A non-teaching staff. Can you stand up for recognition? We have non-teaching staff in different offices, PPD and others. Have, do we have non-teaching staff? Okay. Timothy is in IT office. Timothy Odiambio. Thank you very much. Any other non-teaching staff? Okay, those who are. Thank you very much. We have new faculty members. We have new faculty members. Gideon Masese. Who is Gideon Masese? Can you stand up, please? Okay, you are most welcome. You are uh, which department? Management. You are most welcome. Irene Chepkemboy. Radio station. Where is Irene? She has been here for some time, but I think this is the first time. Okay? Irene has been in the media for many years. Thank you, Irene. You see, there are some people you may not recognize their efforts. We want to recognize them. Some members don't recognize some of this, but we need to recognize. Irene has been in media for so many years, so she's coming with a lot of experience. So thank you, Irene, and I think the rest. And I don't know, if you are somebody who is working with us, and maybe we have not recognized. We have also new... Uh, 
I don't know, but we had uh, Dr. Dr. Mate, I think we introduced him last year. Dr. Mate. He was part of the last year. Huh? He's new. Yes. Uh-huh. Dr. Mate, can you stand up? You come, you come here. You come here. Dr. Daniel Mate. Because I wanted to. Dr. Mate is a theology faculty member. And he has come from Uganda to join us. He is a pastor by profession with a lot of experience. He has been, maybe, he has been a departmental director. He has been a, 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 a president at the conference. He has been a president of the union. You can well imagine. So he has been a union president for several years. So he is a man with a lot of experience. He completed his doctorate at AUA, which is under Andrews University. So we are very much excited to have such a senior and experienced worker in the Department of Theology. So theology students, because I've seen your numbers, it's a good number, you are well taken care of. <laughs> by the dean, who is Dr. Rabaj, by the head of department, who is Dr. Kasai, and by faculty members. Can I see the faculty members of theology department. Can you stand up? Stand up, theology department. So you have a very, very distinguished faculty in the theology department. Thank you very much, faculty members, for being here. Thank you, Dr. Mate. Your wife is around? Huh? <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Now, this introduction has taken almost a long time. I'm ve uh, you know, they have consumed all my time. I wanted to speak a lot today. But now I'm constrained by time. So I just want to welcome the new students to join the University of Eastern Africa Baraton. We are very much excited. We have about five, over 500 students, isn't it? The figures is over 500. Was it 507? 507. So we have 507 students who are new, and we want to thank you for joining this university. It's a blessing. We want to congratulate you for choosing the University of Eastern Africa Baraton as the place to study. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, in this university, you know, it is a Christian institution of higher learning. And it is sponsored by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. As a Christian institution, Christianity is a critical aspect. You have to be a Christian also to follow the Christian values. Even if you are not a Christian, we want to encourage you to follow the Christian values. So, we expect you to dress properly as a professional. We want to encourage you to dress properly. And we are very strict on that. And this will help you even in your future endeavors. So, please, we are encouraging you to dress properly. We, want, we are also discouraging students to be involved in alcohol and drugs. Please, you need to say no to those things. And I want to tell you my experience. I was a student 
also. And you know, when you are a student, sometimes you are, people try to, you know, influence you to take alcohol, to take drugs, to smoke. I remember when I was in secondary school, somebody wanted to teach me how to smoke. Well, somebody wanted to teach me how to smoke. So I said, how do you smoke? Then he told me, this is, you take a cigarette like this, and then you inhale. What are you inhaling? Yeah. And then you let out a smoke, just like a, a train huh? or a tractor. Now you become a tractor with smoke. And I looked at it and I said, my friend, this smoke in Ainda Wabi, hmm? you take inside, you inhale, you destroy your lungs, and then you pour only smoke. You become like a tractor. What does it benefit you? I said, no, I'm not going in that direction. So my dear friends, we have been students before, but we say no to these things. And we thank God, God let us. So I'm encouraging you to say no to drugs, say no to alcohol, say no to smoking. Please, in this university, if you do that, then you will be caught up by rules and regulations of the university. We don't want to discipline, to take you through the disciplinary process. But when you do such things, we are forced. You are forcing us to go through that kind of experience, which we don't want. So maintaining good behavior, maintain good behavior in the university. It will help you now and it will help you even in future. So maintain good behavior. Be committed to the studies that you have come to undertake in this university. Please focus on your studies. Do not be deviated by anyone to do something else apart from your studies. Do not. Do not be used by anyone either a student, a worker, or any, or any person outside to do something else. Focus on your studies. In the university, you may be having some challenges. Personal challenges that will need some counseling services. We have a university counselor to take you through. If you have some issues, consult your supervisor, either the head of department or the dean or even the DVC academics or even myself. Many students consult me even by phone and I respond instantly. Same case is with the heads of department, the dean and the faculty. So if you have a faculty in your class, your lecturer, and you feel you are facing some challenges, can you consult your lecturer first? And if the case is not resolved, then you can go to the head of department. If the case is not resolved, then you can go to the dean. If the case is not resolved, then you can go to the DVC academic. And if the case is not finally resolved, then you can seek an audience with the vice chancellor. So my dear students, follow this kind of levels of complaint redressal or issues to be addressed. And I'm sure your issue will be addressed if it is an academic issue. If it is a non-academic issue, you can consult your DVC student services and the issues can be addressed. But you can start with the deans in the hostels, 
in the residential uh, uh, departments, you can settle your issues at the residence hall. You can settle your issue at the DVC's office, student services. So any problem or any issue that you raise, it will be addressed. So please follow these procedures. We are also encouraging you to be punctual in your classrooms. Make sure that you attend your classes. And I'm also encouraging our heads of department, deans, and uh, faculty to be punctual in their classrooms so that we can attend to these students. If it is possible, let the student find you in the classroom. It is very important. Let us attend to our students. These students are very important to us because we have been, they have chosen this university. They have said we are coming to study here. We are going to attend to them. But also students be punctual to attend to your classes. And if a course is not being taken by a faculty member, a lecturer, can you report that to the head of the department so that a faculty member should be provided to you? So please, do not stay. I know sometimes the students, when they don't see a teacher in the classroom, some celebrate. <laughs> don't celebrate when you don't see a teacher in the classroom. Please, if you don't see, please report so that your classes should be taken. So please, I encourage you to be vigilant, make sure that your teacher is in the classroom and also you study. I would like to encourage you also to attend worship services. We have prayer sessions, we have the chaplaincy services, we have Dr. Duncan Mumbo here. He has been, he is here because of you. He has so many prayers and prayer services to offer. He is waiting for you. So when it is church time, please let us attend worship. And it is important. And even for the faculty and staff also, we would like to attend worship services. This year, in October, we are having the week of spiritual emphasis. And our guest is coming all the way from the United States. He is the Associate Director of Education at the General Conference. So please, take it seriously, because we have a very important guest coming for our week of spiritual emphasis. We need you to excel in your academics, and therefore, concentrate and make sure that you excel in your academic endeavors here. Your academic performance is so important to us, and therefore, we need you to succeed. Maintain cleanliness. And I want to men mention this thing. Recently, I visited a country, and I want to tell you, cleanliness is a priority. So maintain cleanliness in your classrooms, maintain cleanliness in your, uh, even when you go to the washrooms, do not be careless. Maintain cleanliness in your rooms, wherever you are, cleanliness is very critical. Then, I would like to mention also that you maintain integrity. Integrity in your studies, maintain integrity even in the grades that you are earning. There is a problem, some students who are lying to other students, that we can give you a grade. My dear colleagues, you will never get that grade. Some students have not graduated. They could not graduate because of grade issue. So do not be cheated by anyone that they can change your grade. 
you may suffer forever. And I want to tell you, if somebody lies to you that way, you may suffer. Because even the moment we realize that a grade was manipulated, we may even withdraw your degree. So please, be careful. Nobody should lie to you that you can get a better grade without studying. No way. So be careful. Complete your registration because you are supposed to close your registration before you go to the classroom. So ensure that you are fully registered and you closed your registration before you go to the classroom. I'm encouraging the teachers also to ensure that the students they are teaching are on the class list. Because if a student is not on the class list, you may teach, but you will not have a place to put a grade. So please, let us not frustrate our students. That is very important. I want to thank the student leadership. They organized a session of mental health. Was it mental health? We want to thank you. I was out of the country, but I want to thank you. I was monitoring the program. So I want to thank you for your uh, leadership. And therefore, I just want to mention that the student leaders who are here, I don't know if the student leaders are here. Can student leaders, Sabu, student leaders, can you come in front briefly? Student leaders, come in front. I think we need to introduce you too. I think I omitted this one. We need to introduce you the student leadership. Okay. Our student leaders are here. And uh, where is the president? And what about the vice president? The deputy president? Where is the deputy? Huh? So in the absence of the president and the deputy president, who is next? <laughs> huh? Huh? You are the secretary general. So you can speak on behalf. Can you introduce your team? These are our student leaders. You are the people who elected them. And they are doing a great job. I want to appreciate. They are doing a great job. Oh, you are one of them, eh? Oh, huh? hey, the deputy. <laughs> so can you introduce your team then? And introduce yourself also. Good morning. Hey, it is good afternoon. <laughs> good morning. Again, you are making the same mistake. My friend. <laughs> uh, this is Jennifer Lisa Moraga, Senator International of Students from International. This is CS Sports, Yano Diambo, Senator, School, uh, Senator on Campus Ladies, Aska, Senator School of Education, Steve Minyao, our Sabo Speaker, Kyle, Ronix is our Secretary General. This is uh, Senior Council uh, Zemiyu. CS Academics is the senior. Uh, this is Ntabo Felix, Senator of Religious Affairs. This is uh, the pastor in charge of finance, Catherine Emanuel. This is uh, Honorable Kelvin Murray, Super Senator, Science and Technology. Getu Vajimi, uh, Senator Postgraduate. This is uh, Senator Mensdom. Anyona Jackson. This is uh, Sergeant at Arms. Damaris Esekon. Center of School of uh, uh, Health Sciences. Kimadi Benson. Center of Campus Ladies. Anlele. Catherine McKenna is our clerk. 
charity cha vije is the cs agenda thank you i am calling sir president thank you very much i was wondering the deputy president and the president so thank you very much these are our student leaders they are doing a great job we want to appreciate their leadership and especially they did very well as far as the mental health program was concerned thank you for the idea and we want to appreciate you thank you very much so my dear students and uh, workers we have a great university and we want to say let us work very hard making sure that we maintain the institution in good form so please let us continue to work together i know the time is up i would have, they have we have taken a lot of time and i want to thank you and let us take this academic year and we continue to pray that god will guide us through to succeed and our students we want to encourage you be of good behavior and i'm very sure we will sail together in this academic year may god bless you once again can we please appreciate the vice chancellor thank you so so much mr vc professor mayo for challenging us to do our best remember we have started a journey let us focus on completing this journey um, the dvc has asked me to make an announcement that uh, there are some of us who are off campus students and who when time for lunch reaches time for breakfast lunch supper reaches instead of making the meals in their houses in their apartments of campus they parade at the cafeteria in order to eat there i have been asked to say this and this is what we are saying as administration and i hope you listen very carefully if you are going to parade to eat in the cafeteria in a clandestine manner which is not approved we are going to post uh, sister priska 43006 eh? but please come and say that figure I, I want that figure to be very clear the amount of money we are going to post on your account if we find you eating in the cafeteria and you have not been approved to eat there, you are an off-campus student. Please give us that figure. It is 36,960. 36,960. That is the amount of money we will post on your account. So, we are going to post our team members there to ensure those of you who help us in the cafeteria kindly be on the lookout we want to get those students who are trying to uh, eat food that they are not authorized to eat there are people who have paid that 39,000 shillings and they have a right to go to that cafeteria get the food for breakfast food for lunch and food for supper if you want to be in that category kindly visit student finance office and pay that money and so you stay outside and you eat in the cafeteria hallelujah yes <laughs> we are open just you stay outside but since you love that milk you know the, the, you know these uh, borders they drink milk uh, in the morning for breakfast without maji hakuna maziwa ambayo imeongezewa maji it is only milk fresh milk 
great. In the evening, they also drink fresh milk, hot milk during supper. And uh, on Tuesday, I don't know whether it is still there, there is yogurt. Hallelujah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So, man, the food is good there. So if you think you have that money and you want to spend it on food, just come to student services. Uh, they will assist you to make that payment and then will probably give you a special card so that you stay out, you come and eat. Is that fair game? Yes, because you cannot go eating food that somebody else has paid for and you have not even asked for permission. You have to ask for permission. Eh? Eh? Uh, before you karibu karibu there are some of us uh, they uh, uh, borders who karibisha watu in the cafeteria and yet uh, they have not paid please a word to the wise is what sufficient it's enough may god bless you i will want to invite dr Uh, Professor Ibeneme is trying to ask me if we can adjust the closing date for registration. We are constrained with time. We have a letter from the funding board that needs us to return to give returns of students who are government sponsored on this campus and we cannot afford to do it later. And so we are still saying tomorrow evening, tomorrow evening will be the last day for registration for this semester. Remember we started on the 23rd of August and today is the 19th of September. So do your best, do your best. Work with your sponsors so that that money is paid between now and tomorrow for you to get into class. And if you are going to defer your studies for the sake of those who may have come late, as soon as we finish here, I'm going to post the, a letter to you on uab.ac.ke, your email address, explaining what type of letter you ought to write as you defer your studies. Why? Because among the things required by the funding board in this letter that has been written to us is the number of students who are deferring their studies this semester. So if we don't have your name there and you come back next semester and you did not indicate you have deferred, the government may not fund the rest of your studies. Is that clear? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being attentive. Thank you, faculty members, for the work you are doing on behalf of these students. Please continue to do it. And may God bless each and every one of us, the workers, the students, as we work together during this semester. We will close this assembly by asking Dr. Ongeta, our DBC Finance, to say the closing prayer. Shall we all rise? Let's pray. Our most gracious and heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon, praising your name because you have been with us throughout this meeting. And we want to ask you to bless us as we continue with our studies in this university. It is our humble request that you bless the students who are continuing with their studies and those who have joined us this year. We also want to humbly request you to bless the faculty, the staff, and the guardian of these students, Father. May you be with everybody as we continue to be in this university, as we continue to do our parts so that we can be able to glorify your name, Father. We also want to request you to be with our, our Vice Chancellor, the Administrators, and all the other uh, people who are assisting to manage this university further. May you be with our church, 
May you be with the leadership. And as we part from this uh, meeting, may you continue with the, be with us, be with all our family members. And those who have challenges, can you be also with them so that they can be able to see your hand as they solve their issues that they have, Father. And this humble prayer in Jesus Christ. Amen. Why just no but amazing grace So sweet the sound is the sweetest song I know It was the song my mother sang in sweet and humble voice Like music from the